Hello, everyone. This is um, Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa. And of course, we have Dr. Latasha Blanton also with The Real South Africa. And I just want to let you guys know that we are broadcasting live from, from South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> We're not in the States. We're here actually in, in South, South Africa. Africa. We're actually at home because we actually live here in south africa and we're actually enjoying ourselves yes we are absolutely this is a it's a, it's a wonderful place to be um especially if you're melanated so hey i'm i'm just saying i'm just saying so what we're going to do is we're going to do a few things um and whatnot we're going to actually have a conversation with mr ronnie edward dunn full um, name yeah ronnie yeah edward. ronnie edward dunn Done. full stop and what now we're going to talk about his time here in South Africa, what happened, you know, what did he get into, you know, and the whole nine. But before we get into that, we want to, you know, go on a quick break. And then when we come back, we're going to just get right into it. So check it out. And now it's time for the weather. Good morning, South Africa. I hope you've managed to get a coffee in because it's going to be another beautiful day starting here at Johannesburg. All right, guys, welcome back to The Real South Africa. Welcome to our home. And like I said, my name is Mark Edward Blanton. And of course, we have Dr. Latasha Blanton <laughs> from The Real South Africa. But yeah, we just wanted to do another live. We did one last week, and we really want to thank you guys who watched last week. It was really successful. We had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of comments. So if you guys are interested you know, in, in ask, asking us a question, um, about what we're talking about. Like, what are they talking about? Uh, you know, <laughs> ask the question um, and then we can put it up on the screen and uh, and then we can go from there. And hopefully we'll put your question on the, on the thing and then we will recognize you um, in front of everyone and maybe embarrass you, but that's okay. okay. Uh, yeah, but it's, 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 it's going to be a really, really, really good time. Okay, so hope everybody had a good day. Um, really, I really do. Um, the day is Sunday. We, I had a good day. Um, I really did. I got an opportunity. It's always an opportunity, right? Yeah, yeah I had a little opportunity today. I got a chance to to um, hang out with um, the Hearts. Um, they came. They came by the house today. And if y'all don't remember, they did a few um, um, videos with us, and they traveled with us. And now they're here. They're purchasing a house. Uh, actually, excuse me. They're building a house. Yeah, I was gonna correct you. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh yeah, I was, I was. Coming. I was coming. <laughs> but yeah, they're they're building a house, but they bought some land, and and so, but they're here in in South Africa full time now. So they stopped by the house, and we just kind of cut it up with them, and and, and it was good. Uh, we had a really good time, and it was funny because you know, today I went to go get my car wash, and I know I'm kind of segueing, but I went to get my car wash. Um, and, and I went to a place, you know, in America, you guys don't really know much about this, but it's, it's like a little Shazanyama spot, a little barbecue spot. And at the barbecue spot, they have a car wash attached to it. You know, right here, right here, mid ramp. And um, I went there, so I was able to get my car clean. It's shiny. They did a really good job. I know you keep saying that. I, didn't, I haven't seen it. I didn't go outside to look at it. Yeah, I, I normally don't get like the the the, the, the polish. Yeah. I usually get it washed and everything, but I got the polish mm -hmm. as well. So I was really impressed. Gave them a tip, of course. And then I was able to and to place my order over there at the Shezanyama spot. So I got all of that lined up for um for us. So then when I came home and and whatnot, Tasha, she you know, she cooked some sides. Mm -hmm. What'd you cook again? It doesn't matter what I cook. I made some sides. Yeah, yeah. So okay. we wouldn't just have a whole bunch of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Which in here in South Africa, meat having meat is a, is a is a real good thing. So now we we did that, and then of course the hearts came over. It was really good to see them mm -hmm. because the arts here now. Yeah, arts here now. He's he's here full time, and uh, so shout out to him. And then the, the other part of it was, you know, obviously you might have seen it if you're if you're rocking with us, but Jackie actually drove their their new car that they purchased yes. over to the house. And of course, Arthur said he's not driving. So he said he got a full-time chauffeur. Yeah. 
he, I, his face made it sound like he really meant that. But I, I was mostly surprised that Jackie says she's not um, afraid to drive. She's having a good time mm -hmm. driving and that it's really not that hard. And it's actually not that hard to drive on the opposite side of the car on the opposite side of the road. Yeah. On the other on the opposite side of the of the world. Because you really? are. You're on the opposite side okay. of the world. So yeah. Yeah. So okay. okay. So yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so that was that was that was a good thing. So we um actually they just left just before we actually um you know came on. So it's 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 been good. So um uh, what we want to do is kind of you know I see we got a few comments coming in. So let's let's get this thing started. We got somebody that's that's coming in from from Richmond, Virginia. Shout out to VA, baby. Yeah, that used to be one of our, our old stomping grounds and so forth. So uh, we used to live just a few miles north of there um, before we moved to South Africa. And then, of course, we got we got RJ. <laughs> How are you, sir? Yeah. And then we got we got um, Donald Douglas, which is which is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody's starting to come in, and of course we're here. We're here. Yeah, we're here now. And we're you, here. yeah, you was you was ready. And then of course we'll see who else do we have. We have. Okay. Hey, it was a pleasure. You know we love you. You know we love you, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then of course we got uh, a few people coming in. Let me see what Thank they talk about. Thank you for joining for the first time. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of people are coming in. And then, of course, we got some of our, our South African people um, here from Cape Town. I see you. We see you, Ricky. We see you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. And then I see that we have, oh, hello. Hey, Victoria. Yeah. That's like next door. Yeah, we actually kind of like. Actually, they say our address is Pretoria, but. Yeah, yeah. Like, I think maybe the front side might be Pretoria and the back side might be Midran. Yeah. Maybe the left is Shawnee and the, I don't know. Yeah, but we got Hawtine, and that's how you pronounce that. Or um, my American version of, yeah. of Hawtine Province, so that that covers Johannesburg and Pretoria. Yes, it does. For yes, those who does. don't know, and then this place here called Richards Bay, we've been there. We was there for Christmas. It was. Um, it was lovely. Yeah, we was we was low key. Very low key. It was Maybe. nice though. Yeah. yeah. What was that little that little? I don't ask to remember it, nothing from yeah. last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, cool. So I'm glad everybody's showing up and we really appreciate it. Of course, if you have questions and if and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I must bring it up. This is like housekeeping. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Um, the notifications button. Oh, yeah. Yeah, notifications button so you won't miss anything. We put a lot of content on our channel. Um, like I said, now we're, we're doing more lives, but we, we post stuff all the time. Um, we try to put a short on as, as many times as we can as things are, are, are happening. Keep in mind that we're kind of, you know, um, living our, our best life or our, or our regular life or one or the other. Daily life. Yeah. Yeah. Daily yeah, life. yeah. And and with that being said, we. Um, um, you yes, know. you did by the automatic. <laughs> yes, you did. It doesn't, yeah. Look, it doesn't matter. You're driving over here, Jackie. That is an accomplishment all by itself. OK, OK. And um, but yeah, this is this is great. Oh, we got somebody. We got a foreigner in the house. There's a, uh, there's a foreigner. Know she's from Florida. No, she's this person is from. Where is this person from? This person is from Canada. Oh, hello. Yeah. Yay, hey, I like hey, the hey. Canadians are in the house. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh they my can God. get a quick flight too if they just drive down to. Yeah. They can get a quick uh, flight. New York, and then of course. And Dilly, I see you. I see you. Thank you for the compliments. Thank you. Thank you. We thank um, you. we we truly appreciate it. We we do our best um, to you know bring you guys you know what we see mm -hmm. uh, and what we see we feel is real. You know it's the real South Africa, and that's why we named the company the Real South Africa. We only show you what we see. You know the people that come here on a on a trip. Mm -hmm. um, if 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 they're looking at it, we already seen it. Yes. Yes. We've, so we never have anything sprung upon them that we haven't done ourselves so what we experience we basically just extend and share with with um with our clients which is very very nice i think they enjoy it and um 
as a travel and tourism company, you really want someone that is in the space fully, not just someone that can flip a page or two. You want someone yeah. that can say, I've been there, I've tried it. I think they might like it. I think they might not like it. But we do have a target audience. We know who we're trying to speak to. So we do try everything out first, including the food. Yeah. <laughs> including the food. Probably especially the food. Yeah, exactly. Um, but we do try everything out first, the drive, the drivers, the location, all of it, so that we know you're having a proper experience when you travel with us. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, you're down the street too. Yeah, yeah. Los Flores. Okay, so um, Tasha, what did you actually do today? What did mm, you actually do? Mm, do we have to talk about that? We don't have to. Okay, well, I slept in, <laughs> first of all. And then I made a plan because it's getting close to springtime here. The weather's awesome. So it's getting close to springtime here. So I had to write down my plan because I have to get back into the gym. So mm -hmm. I had to, so I spent some time writing down like what my workout plan was going to be um, okay. so I can get ready for the summer. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm saying that because I know in America, you those that are watching from that side of the world, where we come from, it's summertime there. Mm -hmm. um, here in South Africa, we are in winter, but the day was a great day. I think it was, it was like crazy. 71 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, can't do the math, won't do the math, but <laughs> it, was it, was, it was very, very nice and it was sunny. So we spent a little bit of time outside. A lot of time outside. Yeah, yeah. In evening, sir, evening. Okay. So, right. um, you guys have been watching the channel, I'm sure. And uh, the, one of the latest videos we did was on, on a brother here now, was Lloyd Parks. I keep wanting to say Lloyd Banks, and y'all know why. <laughs> but I'm going to get past that. Now, Lloyd Parks, an older gentleman, um, you know, very accomplished person. He's done so many things. And like I said, we, I appreciate the fact that he sat down with us and was willing to, to share his story. And I think a lot of people found a lot of value in and uh, and what he was saying and what he was willing to share and so forth. So hopefully we'll be able to get him back on as, as time goes on, because I think that he really uh, appreciated the fact that he got a chance to share his story. And I think his feedback was pretty good. Yeah, it was. Excuse me. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, but I think his feedback was, was really good. I read, a, I read most of the comments anyway. So, yes, yeah. yeah, um, it, it works. And this person right here, this girl named Kelly Whitted, we went to high school together. We oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> How you doing, Kelly? Yeah. Are you How you doing? Okay, cool. And then, um, yeah. So now, people are probably wondering, what are they? What are they drinking? Like, what? What are they drinking? <laughs> I'm drinking a fruity drink. Let's just let's just say that it has fruit in it. It's 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 flavored water. Yes. It's flavored with gin <laughs> yeah well i'm not gonna say gin i'm going to say that in south africa one of the uh, top drinks here in the country obviously they have beer vodka and they have rum whiskey um even cognac but people tend to uh coalesce and have good conversations as well around gin uh if you didn't know that gin and uh um, not gin and juice like we do in the states um, that sounds gin. gross now. Almost when you think I about know, it. right? Um, it's it's gin and tonic, yeah, and so forth. So yeah, it's 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 very interesting, very interesting. So um, if you're in the states, if you want to have a true South African experience, get you some gin. Hey, you can use Tango Ray because we use Tango Ray here as well, mm -hmm. and get you some 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 tonic. Just kind of mix them a little bit. Um, some of us like to put um, fruit inside of it because um, give it give it a little flavor, and then just just sip on it. And just let it hit you. Mm -mm. <laughs> just all right, all right. So I hope everybody's well on on this sunny. Let me see. Let me let me see what else do you have here? Because you guys are putting together a lot of good comments, a lot of good comments, and we really appreciate it. Wow, this is this is really cool. And of course, my my, my classmate, I had to I had to you know pop her up again. So without further ado, now I want to, first of all, I want to try to introduce them properly. Thank uh, you, Brandon. Yeah. Just saying essay all day, baby. <laughs> yeah, I um, I want to introduce them properly because we we actually did a video with him. We mic'd them up 
and I'm just putting out the disclosure. We mic'd them up and the sound didn't come out proper. But a lot of you guys muddled through it and you listened to it. So we really appreciate it. But we decided to bring him back. And so what we're going to do is we're going to have a conversation about basically his entire trip. And so if you got questions, you can go ahead and um, and uh, put those questions up. We'll try to get to them, but we want to get through his story because this this brother seen it all. Now he's he's from he's from from Missouri. East St. Louis say it all. Yeah, he's from all of it. he's from he's from East St. Louis. Yeah, I, East St. Louis, he's, not he, just yeah, Missouri. That's yeah, different. He used to he used to be in the military like me. He's 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 all those things. He had a wonderful time here. He truly enjoyed South Africa. So what I'm going to do is bring this young brother in. And there he is. That right there is what they call Ronnie Edward Dunn. I'm giving you an ovation. <laughs> it's not standing, but I am clapping for you. <laughs> Greetings, good what sir. Up, Greetings. What up, what up, what up, what up. You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I was a little nervous, a little shook, but I'm okay. Drinking my little drink. <laughs> there you go. So, so you put your gin in a water bottle. I got it. I got it. I got it. And we not we don't get drunk. No one's gonna be drunk on camera. You <laughs> like nice try though. Nice try. Nice right, try. Right, 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 right. Nice try. Nice try. Okay. Cool. 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 So now let's 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 talk it up a little bit. Now, if I if I recall correctly, I met you face to face here in Johannesburg. Do you do you remember that? That oh, day. Of course. Yeah, I remember it. I remember it. Okay, okay. So tell me about that day. Like, what, what, what were we? Uh, they had a little duck off. Like uh, I don't know. Y'all had y'all. I, that, we was in the hotel, but I didn't even know that part existed. Y'all. Oh yeah. 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 I yeah. Staying, yeah. I'm staying at that hotel. Didn't even know that was there. Oh, that was upstairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so so. So then you obviously took an airplane here uh, to, to South Africa. So what like what were, like how did you feel when you got here? Like what happened? Man, uh, so the plane ride, man, hey, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's you gotta fly with me coming from the middle of the earth, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, uh -huh. it, it, it was a trip, but but once I once I planted my feet. You know what I'm saying on the ground. Like I, I thought when I got to the airport that I was gonna be like, okay, if I finally done landed in Africa, I was like, nah, that ain't that ain't the feel I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. So, so when I got outside of the airport and I saw the streets and the grass and the pavement, I went over there and planted myself on the ground, man. And 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 that that euphoric feeling that I was looking for, I felt it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So have you had that feeling somewhere else? Like when you land back in the US, did you have the same feeling? <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> I, I was just saying, you know, because people think, well, maybe because it's the cabin pressure on the plane, and then you and then you don't have the cabin pressure, maybe right. that's the feeling that that we're talking that's, about. No, nah, no, nah, this 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 was a feeling that I felt it again, actually, but I was going to talk about that later. But when I had got, when I was in Durban on the beach, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I grounded myself. Somebody had told me about grounding myself. I didn't know nothing about that. You know, when I did it, when, yeah, when I did it, when I got off the plane, it was just something that I already was like, you know, when I get there, I'm on my ancestors just grab me and be like, my love one, you own here. Yeah. So, so, so that's what I had. But, but in Durban, when I was on the beach, I actually took my shoes off and I, I was in the sand and I was waiting for the waves. You know what I'm saying? It felt like that ocean wanted to grab me and take me up in that mud. But I was waiting on the yeah. waves to reach me and that touched my toes. Man, that was that was a feeling like, hey, it was it was magical, man. It was magical. Wonderful. Okay, okay. So then now you, you're on the ground, you're in South Africa, you're in Africa for the first time. And then now you're thinking to yourself, okay, like I'm obviously going to my, you know, with my, you know, my accommodations, you know, I don't know what it's going to be like, but I'm going, right? I'm sure, you know, obviously we send you pictures, we send you stuff, but it's different. And then you got there. What happened? 
first first when I got there, the dude that picked me up, he looked like he looked like one of my homeboys from here. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, what the hell? So 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 as soon as I get in the vehicle, well, I didn't get in the vehicle yet. I got in on the on the the wrong side. And he like, um, no, that's that you gotta come over here. I'm like, damn, I'm fucking up already. <laughs> Oh, I'm cussing, man. My bad. But uh, when I got in, when I got in the car, you know, here they'd be like, "Oh, you look like Gerald Levert." You know what I'm saying? The first song I heard in Africa was Gerald Levert. Are you serious? First one. Mm-hmm. Yes, I said, "Man, that's me on the radio right there." <laughs> <laughs> you had to get him, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So- so getting in the car, you had a good time. I mean, you was in Africa. Yeah, finally, finally in Africa, man. And the 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 uh like it's just the ride, you know what I mean? And I experienced something like that I never experienced before. As soon as I got there, when we got on the highway and we got to a uh like a roadblock or something, something like that, where the police uh-huh. had pulled us over and he was questioning the guy, he was like, you know. I got somebody famous here. I'm like, man, I'm not famous. <laughs> he was like, he was like, no, nah. he's like, no, nah, I got a special guest, you know, from America, and I'm just taking them somewhere. And 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 the uh, police and him was talking and dapping up. I said, shit, yeah. where they do that at? You know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a black police too. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. hey, that that was something I ain't never experienced before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, on that side, you get pulled up by the cops, boy. You get you, dapped you, up. Oh, yeah, you definitely you get gotcha. dapped up. <laughs> you get lumped you get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So you're trekking along. You're in the car. You've been famous for five minutes. You saw right, the cops right. give you a dap. You get to the hotel. What next? Get to the hotel, man. In the hotel. Ooh. Hey, hey, that was it was it was lavish. It was it was it was five star, it was luxury, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like in the <clears throat> it was like uh what was it, Rose, Rosebird? Rosebank. Yeah, Rosebank, yeah. Rosebank, Rosebank. Mm-hmm. Man, mm-hmm. it was just like a little mini, little mini city booming. Hey, I loved it. I loved it, man. I loved it. Good. Now your first now your first night here. Just recap for me if you can, like your like your first few days, if you can remember. Yeah, because you know you was doing so much. Yeah, I was I was everywhere, man. I I was meeting so many people so fast, and they they want to take me this place, take me this place, show me this. Hey, and uh, I I remember I remember walking on that little strip that's right by by the hotel, mm-hmm. and I had said, man, you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm I'm a uh, you know, just check out, see, just feel the vibe. You know, I'm there for 30 days, so I'm trying to yeah. feel the vibe. You know, my whole thing was to see if it fit me, and if it fit me, yeah. I'm coming here and I'm living here. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just trying to feel the people, you know, see if it's going to be a language barrier, seeing if people going to be looking at me crazy and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I'm just walking the streets alone, you know what I mean? And I see, like, it's security everywhere. It's just regular, mm-hmm. regular, regular security everywhere. So I didn't feel like scared or nothing, but I don't feel like that nowhere anyway. You know what I mean? So I was yeah. just walking, you know what I'm saying? Just watching the people and they watching me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and people, people asking me questions and stuff. It was, man, the people were so nice. Like that's, that's, I, I love the spirit of the people. They so nice and you know they want they want to know about you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They want to let you know, let you know information. You know what I mean? Because I guess they know that shoot, we 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 disconnected from Africa. You know what I mean? Yeah. We don't know, we don't know a lot of the traditional stuff that that they know. You know what I'm saying? So they was they was in, they was telling me a lot of stuff. So then when I'm getting ready to go back to my room after, you know, doing my daughter explore. Uh, I hear some. Uh, <laughs> I hear some music. 
And I'm like, man, I'm looking over there like I steadily see people going in and uh, the, these fancy cars pulling up, people getting dropped off, their car getting taken away. I'm like, damn, is this a club or is this a bar? You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? And so uh, I go over there to uh, security. I'm just standing by him looking at people going in because I don't um, know. I don't know if this is going to be my spot or not, if I'm welcome or not. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm by myself here. Yeah. So uh, he, he was like, uh, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a bar. You know what I'm saying? I was like, how much it cost to get in? I was like, it's free. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what it takes nothing free. <laughs> man, you hear me? I said it's free. So so I said, man, I'm about to. I, I went in. When it when it when it changed my clothes and got on my look my little club gear, came back <laughs> down. <laughs> and I hey, I razzle dazzle myself up in that joint. And uh, there you go. And, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. So so I see. I always used to look at them dance, do they dances on TikTok. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So then when I got in there. And and I started seeing them doing their little the little dances. Hey, I was up in that joint geek. Yeah. <laughs> I was geek. But it's always different. You see something on TV and then you right here, like experiencing it for yourself. Like, man, yeah. first night was turned up. I didn't get in. Shit, I stayed right next door. So I didn't when I walked out, it was morning. Yeah. What? Yeah. I met mad people that night. How many? He said mad, mad. people. Oh, but yeah. nine people. I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. So no, you had a good time. So, so, so obviously you felt comfortable, even though you were in, you were a foreigner in a foreign country. You know, first night you felt comfortable being where you were. Yeah, yeah. They was playing our music, and they was playing their music, but they was playing our music too, like the latest yeah. music. Yeah, they and they knew the they, words of everything too, didn't they? They knew the words. Yeah, of- yeah they hip. They hip on this music. They definitely mm-hmm. was. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. It's okay. All right. Cool, cool. So basically, all you really needed to do was just obviously get in contact with us um, at the Real South Africa, and then we lined everything up for you, pretty much. Is that how generally how it worked? Oh yeah. When I when I hit y'all up. Uh, my boy, shout out to Anthony. He he was he was sending me stuff about y'all all the time. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I'm like, man, bro, keep on sending me stuff. You must want me to look at. It. Let me let me go and check this out. Yeah, and I looked at it. Hold on, let me rewind. First, I was thinking about moving to Texas or to Florida. Mm-hmm. So I had went and visited those places, and I visited Florida, and that was my first interaction with the beach. You know what I'm saying? And I like the Florida. It was expensive as hell, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So tour yeah, you know what I'm saying? So in Texas, that's just <laughs> I ain't gonna hey, too too many people got too much freedom out there, you know what I mean? And I ain't got time. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. They get beside yeah. themselves out there, and I ain't mm. the one. So I canceled both of them out, and I just like God, man, you know what I'm saying? Guide me to a place where you want me to be where I, where I'd be happy. And I've always wanted to go to Africa. That's always been on my heart. And uh, yeah. this, I started seeing y'all stuff, and I looked at it. You know what I'm saying? For a few years, about two years, and then I finally just uh, reached out to y'all, and I, I, I told y'all, no, y'all told me to give, let me know what I, what I want to do. And I'm like, shit, y'all come up with it. I don't know what's that. Y'all come up with it, and I just roll with it. And you see, y'all put it together perfectly. You know what I'm saying? All I had to do was uh, get my passport, because I didn't yeah. have a passport. Uh, shit, my plane ticket. Shit, that's it. Yeah. Oh, and the COVID, the COVID joint. I had to get it. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, you came during that time. Yeah. That's over now, so. Yeah, COVID is over. And I say it's over, over but, but you don't have the, to have testing. Yeah, there's right. no requirement, so it, it works out. So, but yeah, because you know we, you know, we want people to come and have the experience that you're having. But on the front end, sometimes they're trying to figure it out all by themselves, and then come and tell us what they want. And we're like, we're here. We know 
what's out there. So let's have a conversation, which we do. And then we end up figuring out what's best for them. And then they get here and then they ball out like you're balling out. And everybody's pretty happy. So I think they should go with that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just told y'all what I was interested in and, and y'all took it from there and ran with it. And and when I got there, shit, I was, I was man, uh, getting chauffeured everywhere. I was, was going, you know what I mean? People... People standing up with signs like Ronnie Dunn. Yeah, that, that's me, cuz. <laughs> that's me, cuz. That's me. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm like, I'm like, hold that sign up. Let me take a picture of you. <laughs> you did take a picture, didn't you? <laughs> you did take a picture. Yeah, yeah. I no, sure did. Every time awesome. I saw somebody with a sign with my name on it, I was taking a picture of it. Yeah. Man, all that's important. And we make sure those types of things happen. Because though, because when we came here for the first time, mm-hmm. long time ago, when we came as a family, um, somebody was holding a sign. Well, and bland family. Yeah, I was like, Blaine, man, that's, me. that's all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, gee, that's me. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now you had that first night. You 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 acclimated. You got up, ate you a good breakfast. I assume. I'm assuming that we took care of that for you as well. Oh, that was the free 99 right there. There you go. <laughs> that free 99. There you go. There you go. <laughs> all, all, all inclusive. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. So like I said, so I was up to... every morning, every morning getting that breakfast too. <laughs> so it wasn't like the what you call it, like a a, a little ego with a little um, oh, egg. Not, 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 not. My 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 people that's on Facebook, I put I, I was putting all the stuff on Facebook. You know what I'm saying, and and every morning I have my my I, I started being a regular when I get down and they already got my food ready. They have my double espresso and my orange juice, which but the orange juice didn't even taste like orange juice. What did it taste like then? Man, I had to I had to ask them like, man, I I asked for orange juice like this. This tastes like pineapple juice a little bit, like mixture of orange, orange juice and pineapple juice. And I'm like, man, I ain't never taste no orange juice like this. You know what I'm saying? It was, mm-hmm. but they told me it's freshly squeezed. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guess some African oranges. I it's a different kind of orange. Yeah. It probably is. Probably come from Limpopo. Yeah, probably come from Limpopo <laughs> province. Oh yeah, That's funny. yeah, probably. A lot of I've seen a lot of orange trees, citrus trees, a lot of vegetation in Limpopo. So yeah, for sure, probably. Come I did from. see them when I was driving along the street. I did actually. Yeah. And they told me the story about them trees. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because by the time we saw you, because, uh, you know, I think we met you, the, I think we got with you the second day, I think you was here, maybe the third day. Not really sure. But when we got you, I don't boy, remember. boy, you was, you was hype. You was hype. Yeah, I was, I was turned <laughs> up. I was, I was living with celebrity. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I, I, I saw, I saw a picture of you, I think you sent to us where you was, you was getting your beard done, I think. No, did like, you get your hair done? Yeah. And, you was getting, and then you would yeah, get like a massage. Yeah. And your nails done and stuff. Yeah. yeah. What's up with that? Yeah, yeah. I was getting, I was getting that whole treatment. I was getting, I was getting my hair uh, tapered. You know, what I'm saying getting the, you know, the beard right. Uh, they gave me a manicure, pedicure, uh, massage. I had my Jameson and ginger and and lemon and. They was I was drinking it. They'll take it, put it up, get me right, and then after that I went and got my pedicure, and then yeah. oh I had my choice my choice of uh, music that I wanted to listen to too. I got to choose of that. Course. Then I went in the back and got me a full body ninety minute massage. Fell asleep back there, woke up, drink some more Jameson. You know what I'm saying? Play pool. I was kicking it all day up in that joint. You sound spoiled like I don't know what. Hey, I'm a king. Ain't that the way I'm supposed to be getting treated? You know what? I'm I'm not even going to negate that. You're right. My bad, bro. (laughs) So now, so now, so let me ask you this. So were you expecting all of that when you got here? Nah. Nah, I wasn't. That, that, they, that's, they, that's what I'm saying. They welcomed me in there. You know, it just turned into that. You know, it, it, that was just something sporadic. They were just being so nice to me. I'm like, shit. And I, and then I'm like, so how much all this going to cost me? Yeah. <laughs> hey, 
Man, sir. The the money, the money, the money rate, like 16 to 1 or close to that, man. Oh, I bet every day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's funny because sometimes like when we do our we do our um our conversations with people and then we send them an itinerary, like we know that they're gonna run into other stuff, things that could because it's there. But can we put that in the itinerary? No. Can we like elaborate? We just know that ultimately, you know, we're going to over deliver more than what we put on the itinerary, even though the itinerary is, is, pretty, is, pretty, is tight. It's pretty nice. But we knew that, like, for example, where you were, you're going to run into a nice little news cafe because that's where you were. Yeah. We know that, yeah. that you're going to probably yeah. like, you know, you're going to want to get your get your stuff fixed up. We know that's there. And those people know that you're our people. Um, and they're going to give you the extra treatment and, you know, they're going to take care of you. And we know that, but we can't put that on the, right. on, on the itineraries, but yeah, but, but we expect, you know, when you come back, get treated like a king and you should. Yeah. Yeah. Cause, and, and then I'd be telling people like here, like you got to make it make sense to me. Like we, 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 this is supposed to be our, our homeland our native land, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. they all you always hear them motherfuckers say, uh, y'all go back, go back to your country. If you go back to Africa, if we knew that Africa was like this, we we'll be heading our ass back over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause to be treated like we black men are are, are an extinct, you know what I mean? Like we 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 verge of extinction. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't want us here. They treat us like shit. Everything that they make is for us to fail. You know what I'm saying? Versus mm-hmm. Africa. You know what I mean? If you if we knew it was like that, we wouldn't stay over here. Why would we? No, you're Why right. We? And and that's what makes sense to me. It makes sense that I can go over there and get treated like a king. You know what I mean? And people calling me king. You know what I mean? Telling me this is what I should be doing. You're supposed to be living like royalty and all that, like, like, and, and, and getting treated like that. Like, it, it, it makes sense to me. That's why I'm relocating over there. Okay. The decision has, has been made. Has been made. I Ladies see. and gentlemen, just in, Ronnie Dunn has made the decision. <laughs> Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> he will be relocating to sunny South Africa. So you spend, um, you know, half your time in Johannesburg, half your time in Durban. But just to recap, like your time in Johannesburg, like this is going to be the hard part. Three words to sum up your time here in Joburg. Three words. Damn. <laughs> uh, turn. <laughs> okay. Money. Okay. Advanced. Okay, I'll okay. take it. I'll take it. I thought you was gonna say the Disney. <laughs> See, the don't listen to him. The Disney old See? school stuff back in the day. He man, old. Don't yeah. listen to him. Yeah, man, that's the Disney back then. Anyway, that's a little. That's, a, that's a old school stuff. Oh. No. Yeah. So okay. So now you 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 come here and then like you you know you made a comment. You said like if everybody knew. Now. Our South African brothers and sisters think that we know, but we just don't show, right? Um, but the reality is, and we know that most of us in the, in the in the Americas, at least, don't know about South Africa. They they, they just don't know. I mean, would you agree? Yeah, yeah. I mean, the most the most that we know is is a little bit of us might know about Mandela. You know what I'm saying? And that. That struggle, but you know, and 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 a little bit about the apartheid, but but other than that, you don't hear nothing else about South Africa. The most anybody done heard is from what you guys are putting out there. Honestly. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Other than other than, you... other than that, go ahead. Go ahead. Other other than that, the Nelson Mandela, you know what I'm saying, and the apartheid, you know what I'm saying, because I'm a history buff. That's all I knew about South Africa, period. 
And uh-huh. then, and all I hear about now is is y'all putting South Africa out there. That, that's it. That's it. Well, thank you. Well, we are putting it out there because you telling people what's going on. Hundred percent. Now you on this you on this platform. We got a few hundred people listening right now, and then they're gonna listen later. So I mean, you're telling the story as well. So all we really can do is just tell our stories, mm-hmm. tell people what we find, and then hopefully through the grassroots, people will find it and see it, and then they'll they'll push it along, and then um, they'll come here on a trip, and then they're gonna be like you, you know, like man, I thought this was something else. But this is this is this is what I belong to. This yeah. is no. This is this is where I'm supposed to be. This is how I feel anyway. And we yeah. and we just do our best to try and share that. So, um, so I like the three words to sum up Johannesburg. And now, explain to me two things. Oh, it's time for you to go to Durban. Number one, how you feel leaving Johannesburg, and then how you felt when you landed in Durban. Oh man, I was sick. I was sick leaving Johannesburg. I wanted I wanted to extend my stay for real, but I didn't know how to go about doing that because I had already had everything already planned and you know I had to follow the itinerary. You know what I'm saying? But I was sick. I really was. But uh, uh, when I got to Durban, uh, I was can I. Man, I, I wanna I'm I'm trying to keep PG, but everybody knows stuff is black and white, man. Yeah, it's it's just the same that I people. PG 13. It's just the same that our people don't get the experience Africa like like we should, man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't see I didn't see a bunch I didn't see a bunch of us, period. When I was coming and going, I was the only brother on the plane. And that's sad. Yeah, on the plane. That's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Coming coming to Africa and leaving Africa. I was the only brother. You know. Wow. And that's sad. But anyways, you know what I'm saying? When I landed in Durban, you know what I'm saying? Uh um uh, once again, I had I had the little dude sitting there waiting <laughs> on me with my with, with my name on. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm loving this. And then that's, that's it's like tropical down there. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. see all the little palm trees. You know what I mean? And, and it, the heat, the heat had hit me. It, it hit different than Johannesburg. Yeah. It hit, it was different. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And then you had a couple down days and then you got with your first guide. Explain to me what happened after you got with your first proper guide. The the first one or the second one? I'm, oh, the well, first one. Uh, I, yeah, I had to. the yeah, first yeah. one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was it was by the book. You know what I mean? I, man, I'm trying to hold my tongue. I don't even. I see. Nah, I, I, see. Think, I, think, I think I think you should put it out there. Put it out there. So 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 so, my first guy was a white guy. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And uh, he was being by the book. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to show me stuff, but he was, it was so like, you know, he reading the manual and just taking me there and dropping me off. Like, damn, this, this is it. You know what I mean? Like, so, so I got another guy, a brother, shout out to Timber. Man, hey, he got me together. He taking me on. Hey, dirt roads, back roads, alleys, you know what I'm saying? You let me yeah. eat this food. You know what I mean? I'm going to people's houses. I'm 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 having my 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 impression of Durban had changed extremely. And 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 I got to do something like this is what I wanted to do. You know what I mean? I, I was going in the I was going in, in the villages, going to the schoolhouse with the kids, like I was talking to mm-hmm. the actual people. And that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so now, so now you you a brother all the way from East St. Louis, you know. I mean, us in the U.S. know what that means, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, you got an opportunity, you know, you know, you know, unlike a lot of people to come to South Africa, and you came to came with us, and you know, to have these experiences. I'm sure two years ago, you 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 could have never saw yourself 
in a situation like this? Am I am I right or am I wrong? No, well, actually, I, I've been planning this for a while. Okay, I knew I was going to do. So, you know what I'm saying? But to to actually see it manifest and 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 play out, like man, it's this is the best experience I ever had in my life, and I done did a lot of shit. I've been in the military, like you said. Mo- we done been we done been around the world. We done been places, but to be yeah. go back to the motherland, like where where life actually started, and then to be more specific, South Africa is where they found the little Lucy. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's <laughs> when, right, right. When God said, "Let's make man in our image," He made us, and I went. This is the place where it started. So, so. On a spiritual level, that's what that's what I was searching for. On a spiritual level, like man, it was it was phenomenal. It, it it changed it changed me so much. And I'm 41, you know, and to go change like that, man, I wish I would have been did this. Mm-hmm. Been did. Okay, okay. Well, I can I will say to you that we've had um, uh, travelers that were uh, much older than you. In their seventies, uh, I think we've even had some one or a few in their eighties. Mm-hmm. But the, even the ones in the seventies, one of the first things they say is, that, "Man, I wish I would have been did this uh, twenty years ago uh, or thirty years ago." So I mean, you're right in that window. So I mean, you you're primed and ready, you know, you know, to, to be in South Africa and to make your, you know, your triumphant return, you know, you know, to the continent. And then of course, this time your experience will be a little bit more enhanced because now you know a little something. You know, you won't be afraid to, you know, to walk with a with your head up because, you know, because you're part of it. And I think, you know, you felt being part of the majority here in South Africa. Did, did that really matter to you? Oh, man, it definitely it definitely mattered. Like, well, I had got a DNA test, you know, what I'm saying that ancestry dot com. I went I did that. And um, what made me feel more, more like a part of Durban is that I found out that I was 35% Congo, Cameroon, and Western Bantu people. And the locals had told me that Western Bantu people are Zulu. You know what I'm saying? So, so they told me Durban was Zulu nation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, yeah so I'm like, so this 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 is where, this is where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 so I felt I felt the sense of belonging that I ain't never felt before. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like I'm part of this. I'm part of this actual thing, and it gave me a different perspective about Durban, like all the way around. Because Johannesburg was winning like, all the way, then it kind of evened it up when I found out this Zulu nation. I'm Zulu. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm Zulu, and and I see you have your is that your Zulu That's name right. that you put on your thing. Sibu Siso. Oh, listen to you. Listen to you saying it properly. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah boy. Oh, yeah, that's a yeah, boy. Oh, my God. You I, 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 I'm the ready to return for sure. Yeah. I'm I would. Ready. I would I'm ready. Say, bro, come come back. Come back soon. I, I will tell you that it's, it's for us, it's, it's, a, it's a, you know, outside of all the craziness that happens in the world, we get the opportunity to bring people back, you know, to the continent or, you know, granted, they may not have DNA here um, in South Africa, but I think being around other other Africans, you know, activates our own African in us. Would you agree? Yes, definitely agree, man. It, it made me, it's, it's like you see why they put that propaganda out there on TV, you know what I mean? They want that disconnect to continue to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, like mm-hmm. them, them in Africa, you know, they, they got the traditional stuff, you know what I mean, that we don't have at all. And and then when mm-hmm. we come back, we bring what we done learned from America, you know what I'm saying? And then they give us what they know. And then that's a real life Wakanda that they scared of. You hear me? Yeah. And that's well, what I, I think, think y'all bring light to this, 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 this misconception that they're doing. Y'all bringing light to 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 Africa, man, and and hopefully, 
you know what I'm saying? A lot of our people end up back here bringing that DNA back to Africa so we can stop all this bullshit that's going on. Okay. No other way to say it. Yeah. No other way to say it. So to sum everything up, I mean, obviously you have had conversations with people at home. You've had conversations with people that either want to know how your time was or want to discredit what you experienced. Like, how are those conversations going back home? I mean, as you, as you know, you can't tell everybody because everybody ain't going to yeah. you know what I'm saying? They can't. Some people can't can't place themselves where where, where their mind won't take them. You know what I mean? Like right. everybody say wave wavelength you is, but the people that, that's on the same wavelength, man, they feeling they feeling Africa in a different way that they never seen it before. And I I feel I feel blessed and proud that God let let them see Africa through my my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I I love that. You know what I mean? And and that's part of like 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 man, deep shit. Like ain't nobody never seen Africa, but but through what I showed them, a lot a lot of people inbox me that, and I feel I feel like honored. Like I, I'm I'm glad that God gave blessed me to, to have that opportunity. Yeah. Wow. I don't even know how to respond to that actually. Yeah. No. It's 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 beautiful. You know, putting, you know, showing, you know, showing people, you know, because obviously you're talking, you know, to them, not just what you saw, what you ate, but, you know, how you felt and, you know, basically exposing yourself, you know, hoping that nobody treads on you. But, um, you know, to do that, you know, makes, you know, it's it's because you feel so strongly about it and you really want them to at least listen to what you're saying. And if they never do anything with it, at least. They heard, you know, they know this guy. This, you know, you're gonna be that one guy they know. Yeah, man, you know, you know, my boy, you know, he went and he did, you know, this is what he said, you know, and that's gonna be the story. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. Right. <laughs> oh and, my and god. When y'all talk okay. about story, like, like, like it, it it was such a spiritual journey. Like people don't they, that's something that they ain't gonna feel unless they're there. You know what I'm right. saying? Touching yeah. down. And, and on the continent, that spiritual connect, man, it opened up some shit in me that that that's been closed for a long time, you know. And I, I I was writing this book, you know what I'm saying, and and I've been in the writer's block for years. I used to write music, you know what I'm saying. I sing, you know, all that shit has been dead, you know what I mean. But when I when I went to Africa, all that opened that it opened back up. So I've been writing my book. You know what I mean? Every day I'm in that mug, see them all. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like I just see things a lot clearer now. And and it happened because, you know what I'm saying? I'm at peace in my life right now. So that, that was right on time. Okay. Okay. Um, you know, I, I was I was thinking about what you were saying, you know, how things opened up for you. And, and, and I, I've told this story before. You may not have heard it, but you know, we had a couple here um, a long time ago. They were they were trying to get pregnant, couldn't get pregnant. <laughs> and um, they came here on a trip. And then I get a message from him. And he's like, yeah, man, she's pregnant. <laughs> you know, it happened here. In, it happened here in Africa. You know, so things so things yeah. can happen, you know, f- you know, for good people. Um, but but you you keep harping on it. You have to come here and see it for yourself. You can't just stay on a, on a chat group or on the Internet and get this feeling or get what you need from Africa. You have to put your feet on this, on this ground. Would you agree? Man, definitely agree. Like, like we, we so used to staying in the box, you know what I'm saying? They scared to get out of our comfort zone. You know what I mean? Because nobody don't like being, you know what I'm saying? Uncomfortable. You know what I mean? But I'm not that type of person. You're not, you're not going to place me in the box and tell me this how I got to do it. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. I'm willing to get outside yeah. of my box. And and that's what people can do. We got one life to live. One one uno, one life to live. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So live 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 your life to your to the fullest. Don't live for your kids, your mama, your daddy. Live for you and do shit that you always wanted to do. And don't wait and put it on no damn bucket list 
just do it right now because you never know what, what's going to happen to you tomorrow. So I live life like that. That's why people like, oh, man, you you going all these places by yourself? Yeah, I am, but I'm never by myself. I always got God with me everywhere I go. Everywhere. Shop, shop. <laughs> I fully, I fully, fully agree with you. Yeah, I boy. Fully agree. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully, hopefully, you know, people will continue to, you know, follow with us. And then, of course, you know, there's, you know, they've, they've seen your content. Of course, you can inspire, you know, many, many other people to come here and get some of this culture because it's, 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 it's everywhere. It is everywhere. You know, everything here is based on culture. It's everywhere. And you obviously ran into it the first day you landed. Um, the first night you came from dinner, you ran into it. You ran into it in Durban. You ran into, you know, home everywhere you went. You know, you ran into something that was like a big, warm hug. And um, I hope that, you know, you can continue to share that message with people, allow them to understand that if they want to have that feeling that they need to come and travel, and if they're thinking about traveling, like you say, to get off the fence, make it a now list, not a bucket list. Give us a call. Let us do the heavy leg work. All they got to do is make the commitment, make the decision, book, and let us take care of the rest. And then they can actually enjoy that feeling that you are still basking in right now. Yeah, 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 definitely. And then and then you forgot, you can make payments on y'all stuff. Everybody <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. you know <laughs> you can you can pay that joint down, you know what I'm saying? Make payments on it. And I love I love that option option through PayPal. I definitely yeah. used it. And and matter of fact, speaking of that, y'all gonna have to put me on your list for November. You coming? Oh, for sure. I'm, I'm I'm looking at some property, and if they let me buy it, I'm buying some property. And then hey, by the new year, I'll be a South African. There you go. Amen. There you go. I What's, I touch and agree. Yeah. So that's right. So you but, but you would say you would say that you know uh, you know Joburg is a different vibe than than Durban, but both of them are nice vibes. Yeah, Joe jo Johannesburg was like, I guess I heard I heard locals say this, so I'm gonna just say what the locals were saying. Like that we 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 look at ourselves as a mini America. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Because like like Joe Berg was like city, you know what I'm saying, and, and fast and everybody on their stuff and, and and they ain't worried about the next person business. You know what I mean? And yeah. Durban, Durban was like Durban was slow. It was like it's like old. <laughs> I mean, Joe Berg was Joe Berg was young, and and that that's the best I can explain. Joe Berg was young, Durban was old. Not like in a literal and sense, but we get it. Yeah, we get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So now, when you let me go back to when you went to the club, you said they was they was doing they was doing the dances you saw in the <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Nah, it's it's, it's very nice. I. I I get those I get those little videos as well, and I, and I do look at them, and they be they be getting it in, you know. It to me is like like I said, it's Dang. like a young person's movement. Young persons, you know. I mean, I remember back in the day when we used to, you know, when uh, when when break dancing first came out, it was the craziest thing in the world. But you all remember that he was born in eighty one. I'm telling you my story, <laughs> you know. So I love Tasha, 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 you're only a couple years older than that. Hey, I remember break dancing because I used to do it. Hey. I'm doing it. You was a baby. Baby's baby. <laughs> Babies was break dancing. You a baby. Babies in East St. Louis was break dancing. No, you right. You right. I ain't, yeah. I'm not going. I'm not taking that from you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, at, let me if see, I'm a so. baby, you a baby too, Tasha. Fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. I was born in the '70s. Okay. Well, then we gonna we gonna, we gonna change the topic. Hey, we're going to change the topic a little bit, y'all young folks. Uh, <laughs> you're <both young. laughs> it's, so, it's so cute. Anyway, so so you were single. I mean, you were, you were, you know you were a single Zulu man, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. So 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 how were the how were the views here in in South Africa 
So those that are um, that are in America who want to know, I know you will not hold your tongue. Uh, and I'm going to raise <laughs> raise the rating from a PG-13 to I'm going to make it an R. I'm going to make it an R, a temporary R. Put him on the screen by himself. I don't want to be making no faces. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he got it. He got it. Right. No, so so let's let's uh I'm R. I'm, I'm I'm single. I'm single, but it's complicated. You know what I'm saying? So okay. uh mm -hmm. I had to put that disclosure out there. Sure. But um uh, man, the women is different than the women here. I'm I'm let's let's just say that they they I don't think the women in the states with that. Well, I can't. I don't know. I ain't about to put. Do you want to? I don't know. Do you want to throw in the towel? I can, I, do you want to throw in the towel? I can take that. Different. It was just different. It was just it was different. different. Hey, the women, the just authentic. Just say that authentic. Ain't no fake plastic surgery. And and getting my booty changed to my titties and my titties to my booty. You know what I'm saying? Fat off my stomach and that. It's 100% authentic. Homegrown. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 And of course, I got to ask you one. I, I got to ask you one more follow up question because I remember back in the day, people would like you go to DC and people would be like, man, DC is like seven to one or whatever the case may case may be. That was a long time ago. I don't know what it is now. Um, I mean, what did you observe? Because I know you were observing. <laughs> definitely was, definitely was observing. Watch it. Hey, it was, man, it was paradise. Let's just say that. You hear me? Okay. When, when I say, like, like, I was a king is supposed to live a pleasurable lifestyle. I'm so uncomfortable. There, right I was, I was getting, I was getting the lifestyle, like you know what I mean, like you know, I felt like I was a celebrity for real. I ain't even gonna lie, I felt like I was a celebrity, and I, 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 I I'm not no damn celebrity here. I'm not no celebrity here, but there, I was feeling real stuff. So I want to go somewhere where I'm feeling myself. <laughs> okay. Now you are you are you are com you are completely off what we call the proverbial hook. <laughs> so is is there any is there any other thing that you want to mention about uh, Joe Bird or or um, or Durbin uh, why you was here? Man, the uh, the uh, safaris, man. Oh my God, I love I love the safaris. I love love them love them. I saw so many animals like like you see this stuff on TV, but to be like it's right in front of you. Like it's a wildebeest right there. It's a zebra yeah. right there. It's a giraffe right there. It's a rhinoceros right there. You you see it and you you right there. Like that's I, and, and, wait, and wait a minute. Wait, see wait, where, where was it? Where was it? Where, where was you said, where was the rhinoceros? You said it was right there. No, he said it was right, right there. there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right there, right there. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's St. Louis, baby. That's St. Louis all day long. Yeah, I heard yeah, right there, right yeah. there. <laughs> right there. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I, I was trying to see a lion so bad. I love lions. You know what I mean? I, I got uh -huh. the lion right here. I got a lion on my stomach, lions on my chest, on my arms. I love lions, but that's the only animal I didn't see. But I found out that they got a lion safari somewhere, and I'm going back when I go back from seeing them. We'll make it yeah. happen. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. So then, at 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 some point, I I, I distinctly remember it was on a Tuesday. No, you don't remember. It was on a Tuesday. I know it was. <laughs> It was on a Tuesday. It was on a. It was matter of fact. I I I, 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 I went to the research department, and it said it was on a Tuesday. So it was on a Tuesday for 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 this purpose. So this is this is this is what we got on a on this Tuesday. And don't say nothing. You just sit there and feel it. This is what initial reaction. 
I'm back in America. I really don't want to fucking be here. I mean, like, I've been dreading it. I'm serious, and I'm not bullshitting. Like, this ain't something I want to fucking come back to, man. I swear. But I'm back at this motherfucker, and I'm going to try to get back fast as I can to South Africa. For real. I ain't trying to lose that feeling and shit. But I'm back. <laughs> what happened? On that Tuesday, on that fateful Tuesday. Hey, hey, you know what? I just realized the military got me a, a potty mouth, man. A <laughs> potty mouth. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but I hey, my, my little feelings was hurt. And y'all saw that. My feelings was hurt. I was sick <laughs> to my stomach. I, I, and, and I had saw that in, in some of y'all interviews. I'm like, man, that ain't, is they really feeling like that? Like, yeah, I, you really feel like that. I was sick to my stomach. And when I got back here, man, you you know how you be in love and you, that person, you know what I'm saying, somewhere else and you here and your, your butterflies and you feeling sick. I miss them so much. That's that's what I felt like when I left Africa. That's what I felt like. I'm still feeling that. It's a nauseous feeling. Like every, I, I don't even, I don't even look at y'all videos no more. Because I begin sick to my stomach. <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. I ain't lying. For real. Brother, you was going through it. You was you was going through it. You was going through it. Yeah. I was wondering. Everybody I was, was like, like crying? Say again? <laughs> crying. Everybody was telling me, bro, I felt your pain. I saw it all in your face. That shit was real, authentic. I was fucked up yeah. behind that pain. <laughs> Yeah, I can't it's, cuss. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but it's 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 hard to leave. It's hard to leave something that made you that that you know. We tell people, say, look, you know, jump on a trip because there are a lot of people, lots of people that I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know. I'm, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it the way I want to say it. There's a lot of people that been on. They they call themselves travel, and they've been a lot of places. But when they go to places, because like everything that you mentioned, you wasn't inside of an enclosed area like a resort or anything like that. Everything you mentioned, you was out uh, and, and with the people doing your thing, meeting people in space where they are the whole time. And then but people will pay big money to go to a resort and never meet anyone besides other people on the trip with them. They do their time and they put them back on a the bus. They whiz them back to the airport and then they leave and they pay big money. And all the experiences that you just talked about, they never have. They never have. And we don't do that at all. We make sure you have all the experiences that you're supposed to have. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Y'all made it. Y'all made it so easy, man. I, I, I. Like you on a vacation, like why you want to why you want to do everything by yourself? That that defeats the purpose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, y'all y'all had everything set up for me, and and then once I once I got the right the right tour guide, you know what I'm saying? That's when stuff started going up. You know, I saw way more beaches. I was seeing stuff that you you ordinarily, I guess, you want to see as a tourist. You know what I mean? Yeah, and that that made, that made the the trip that that much more special because I was with I was with the people, I was at their house having drinks and eating. I met so many people down there that's 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 ready for me to come back. You know what I'm saying? Be my in between, yeah. like a lot of stuff. Okay, well, um, Sia here asked me, ask him what's the best trip he's ever taken. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one right here, this one right here, hands down. I mean, Florida, Florida was. I love, I like that. I like Florida. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, when I lived in Germany, I love Germany. But yeah, but South Africa, it, it's nothing compared to it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always trying to get me to go to Miami and go to Mexico and Hawaii and all that. I said, nah, I ain't going none of them places. Until I touch down on the continent. 
And now I don't even want to go to them places. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty normal though. Yeah. Once you've been here, you and you see the value in being in Africa and you experience it for yourself, it becomes very, very difficult to go anyplace else. Cause if you've been in the US, no matter where you go, you won't ever feel this. And it makes it very difficult to put your money and energy into something when you know you're not going to get the return that you got when you're here. At least that's what it is, what it was for me. We stopped traveling any place else that wasn't here and started coming here frequently. All the time. Yeah. yeah. I really, I agree with y'all. You know what I'm saying? My plan is to travel all the way up and down South Africa. I mean, Africa, period. You know what I mean? And 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 I ain't going nowhere else. I'm, I'm, I'm here in Africa. I love it. Yeah. You know, I, I, I tell you what, you know, like I said, we try to do the best we can and we try to sort things out, you know, for people. Mm -hmm. And we had, um, you know, a couple, I think I mentioned to you uh, off camera when we talked about there was a family, a couple, uh, husband and wife there from Miami, from Liberty City, and one's from another part of Miami. And they ran across our, our, our contacts um, in, in, in our videos. And they they literally was like three days from leaving. They had things booked for themselves and the whole nine. Three days prior, they got us on the phone. They canceled pretty much all their stuff and said, hey, can you, because I've been seeing how y'all do business, I want to go with you guys. And they, we got it done with Tasha. <laughs> Tasha got it done. And they then we, we met them. They came here. And man, I think they're I think they're having the best the, the best time. I'm pretty the, sure they yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, they're having they're having the best time. So, you know, we do our we do our best to sort people out. You know, to make sure that they have. I mean, I mean, you were mentioning you know proper guides. You know, um, you know having a proper you know black South African guide makes a difference. And I, and I think you mentioned you it, go. but it does. There you go. Yeah, because yeah. I will I will be the first to tell you. Say again. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, well, I will. I will tell you. I will tell you that um, you know the guys, the the the, the guys that you um, are dealing with, generally, and I'm going to tell you this. Generally, they don't see us African Americans on their trips. They generally don't see us, so they are so happy to see us, and then they then they want to show us show show us you know, more than what they would normally show anyone else. You know, they're used yeah. to seeing, you know, European travelers coming to South Africa and they just show them what they got to do. They still get the same pay. But when they see a brother who took the time to and chose South Africa as a destination, I mean, literally chose it as a destination, um, they're, they, and you flew here, they're like, I got to show this brother everything as much as i can show him yeah, yeah. that's yeah. actually what it felt like too that's what it felt yeah. like because we were yeah. sitting i mean i'm sitting on corners you know what i'm saying i'm down in the city you know what I'm saying in, in the heart of the people on the bench uh -huh. you know what i'm saying while they selling and doing this and doing that and people doing music i'm i'm just in the midst you know what i mean it just it felt so good man and then Y'all, y'all make everything is luxury. What y'all do yeah. is, is everything was luxury. Everything was luxury. Where I was eating at, you know what I'm saying? The restaurants, the wine tastings, like, you know, that was my big thing. But, but where everywhere y'all sent me was was five star everything. Yeah, and 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 obviously, you know, that's our you know, part of our brand. We 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 you know we do luxury travel. You know, here in South Africa, a lot of people think they can't afford it, think they can't afford it or it's not worth it. Uh, well, I don't I don't need all that. And then you get here and then you're like, wow, I'm so glad I got I got the package from you guys because I'm doing things I, I wouldn't even you know didn't even know I could do. And I and, and when we talk about that, I always say when 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 we as a people are quick to say what we don't need, it's because we're not used to having it. So we dismiss it. And we automatically right. say we don't need something. But I'm saying that if you put your time in on that side, I feel like you deserve to come to the continent. And what we provide allows you to actually relax and not really think about 
anything other than being downstairs when the car is going to pick you up. And I think that that matters if you put that much time and effort to build in the life on that side. Just come and relax. It's so I, I think it's worth it. And that's why I say you deserve it. Even if you don't need it, you deserve it. You deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, cool. You know, I I'm, I want to I want to ask you this. Um, so I know sometimes it's like a private conversation with with your boys when you got back because I know you got back and I know what your boys like. Man, what happened? What, what happened? I mean, what did you say to them? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> that I I was I was living my best life and 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 that that uh, you know I was just telling them about how beautiful it was. You know what I'm saying? Like like. It's no point of us being here. It's no point of us being here. You know what I mean? Where where they don't want us at. Let's 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 do something as a as a whole, and let let's let's put our money over here. Let's get ourselves back over here because I'm telling you, I, I had the time of my life. You know what I mean? And I feel like every Black African American need to feel that because if they feel it, they ain't gonna want to leave it. Fair enough. There's one question that I do want you to read if you can see it on the screen. So Brandon's asking, can we ask Ronnie how he now views family and values differently after you've been back in the USA? <laughs> family means something different there than it does here. Your family here, I'm just I'm going off my experience and I've been dealing with this a long time. Family ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Here. I'm just being real. It ain't. You know what I mean? Your family be the first people to mess you over. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and we try to have family reunions just disappearing. We try to, you know, stay stay associated with your family. But family, family do you in first and foremost. But over there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody stick together. You know what I mean? Your your surname. It means something. Like it literally means something. You know what I mean? You'll find out the history about your name. That's the disconnect that we have. So, 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 so that throw family with it is it's a total different meaning. We don't have no 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 concept of real family for real. They sit together, they eat together, they pray together, they help each other come up. You you get that sporadically here and there in different families. But that ain't that ain't that ain't the that ain't the main thing we do as blacks here. We crabs in the buckets here. Okay, okay. I I will say to just to add a little bit. I don't want to put too much context on it, but um, family here is 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 one of the most important things. They have a thing here in South Africa. It's unwritten, but I think it's written somewhere um, called Black Tax. And if 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 you are the person in your family that made it, um, quote, unquote. quote unquote, made it, or you're doing okay for yourself, you have an obligation and a responsibility to give give back to your family, to help take care of your family, you know, to 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 assist, as we like to say here in in South Africa. And that's a real thing. I mean, people make decisions on, am I going to buy this, you know, this Volkswagen GTI? Or am I going to, you know, help grandma out in the village, you know, yeah. and in the, in the village wins out every pretty much every single time. Um, so, yeah. So so family is, is real. And it's I mean, that's just the way it is. There's an actual show. On, um, they, they got a, a streaming service called Showmax. And um, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's called um, Black Tax. It's actually hilarious. Yeah, and it is funny, but it's but it's real. I mean, I've got friends here. They talk, talk about, about it all the time. Yeah, black tax, black tax. I got I got black tax because they got to take care of their family and, and and they're fine with it. They they really are. So it is what it is. Yeah. Hey, and th th I see that question that just popped up about the Dunn, the Dunn clan, the Dunn family. Hey, they they told me about that, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I, I I actually I actually went to go meet one of the Dunn's. You know what I'm saying? Did. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm telling you, I was all over Durban, man. I was everywhere. I was in these streets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in them streets. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was in these streets. So, so, so the Duns, the Duns that I met 
are what y'all call color people. They were color, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And they yeah. uh they were they were, you know, I guess South South Durban, like they were yeah. far away, you know what I mean? But I, I Yeah, I know up, exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I end up meeting one and they told me about the done, you know what I'm saying? He was a white man that 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 married what was it? 80, 170, he had 176 kids or something like that. You know what I mean? He had he had a lot of kids. He had a mm-hmm. lot of black wives. And mm. and uh he just he just spread his seed. I said that's that 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 makes sense. That's why I got yeah, that makes sense. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a family tradition. But that's a family tradition. That's that's the done way. Let's keep it like that. <laughs> as, as we say here, baby, I gotta Africa. do it like that. Hey, as, as we say here in South Africa, it's done and dusted. <laughs> <laughs> now we now we know what it really means. Yeah, it's done and dusted. Right, cool. right. Cool. Right. Cool. So um, Zulu, somebody asked, somebody asked. If if you were uh, if you were obviously you would want to live here, would it be would it be JHB or would it be KZN? JHB for certain. Santon to be exact. Whoa. Mm, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. So you've been so you've been um, you've been searching. Oh yeah, I had my driver driving me all around through. All Pretoria, uh, I was I was everywhere. I was everywhere. Find out. Okay. So hey, I'm part, so of, me, part of South Africa now, now. <laughs> yeah, it, it's bro. I I was the same way. I didn't want to let it go. I could have easily just went, came, saw, left, and then forgot about it. But you can't do that. <laughs> like, uh, it won't let you go. It it definitely won't, won't let you go. Won't. Definitely won't. Okay. It won't let you go. So, and, and you've been you've been pretty pretty steadfast. I mean, you've been definitely in touch with all the right people since you've been gone. Really serious about you know returning and and returning the right way, and obviously looking for property. So you know, we look forward to having you in November. It's going to be a we'll have a different time in November, but it'll still be fun for sure. Yeah, yeah. It'll be it'll be uh summer, right? Is it summer? It'll be- Early, oh, yeah, yeah, spring heading into summer. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So as they say, bring your swimming costume. Oh god. Because we call them swimming costumes over here. <laughs> I'm ready to show all this McLovin. There you <laughs> go. Said, That's what I'm talking about. And all those tats. Rick Ross in the building. I'm about to leave y'all. <laughs> so, but let me let me ask you this. So now, on a serious note, on a on a on an extremely serious note, we get a you know. The, the question a lot. And so I'm going to let somebody else say it, answer the question. You know, did you or do you feel safe here in South Africa? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. I felt safe. You know what I mean? They was telling me, they was telling me stuff about, uh, they was telling me about all the stuff. But like I told them, nigga, I'm from East St. Louis, G. Yes. East St. Louis. Like, I got to deal with guns and stuff. Like, y'all ain't got guns over there like that. Like, criminals do got guns or whatever. But a knife fight, I can run from a knife. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I can bat a knife down. You can't bat no yeah. bullets down. You know what I mean? And then, wow. and then, at the same time, just like here, it's just like there. They know who they can mess with and who they can't mess with. Yeah. And I and, and 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 everybody be telling me, man, you be looking so mean. I don't be trying to, but that's that's what I done develop. You know what I mean? People know who who they can mess with and who they can't. I definitely felt safe. It was everywhere I went. It was security guards everywhere. Yeah, There's security everywhere. Security everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially in the in the places that got money, money. It's security like double. But then when you in the hood, it's security at every store. At every corner, like when you park in your car, there's security there. Like there's security everywhere. I, I was surprised because I was hearing all this crime stuff, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't experience none of it. Mm-hmm. And I was in, I was in them streets. 
What you keep talking about the these streets? <laughs> I was in the hood. Like I was in downtown Johannesburg, Soweto. Like yeah. I was I was down there. Okay. At nighttime, I was at the strip club. You know what I'm saying? I was at the clubs. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was man, shoot, I was having I was living my life there. I'm like to I go to strip No, clubs you really there. were. No, but I'm I'm gl- I'm glad that you were. I mean, it's pretty clear that you've done everything you're supposed to do for King and Country on that side. You literally have fought for the country that you're staying in right now, and you feel like you deserve what you experienced. And I'm and I'm grateful that you allowed us the opportunity to give that to you, and that you actually took it to the highest level possible and enjoyed every single moment that you were able to. So thank you for being wide open while you were here and having a good time. I, I, I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, thank, thank you for providing the opportunity for me. Because if it wasn't for y'all, you know what I mean? I'd probably still be sitting on the fence, like how I'm gonna get over there to Africa. You know what I mean? I've always yeah. wanted to come, but you guys had bridged that gap. You know what I mean? And now, you know, I feel like this is the second chapter of my life. You know what I mean? I'm in my prime right now. And I can I can reinvent myself when I go to Africa and live out how I think I should be treated. You know what I mean? Like I, wearing this king stuff. You know what I mean? It's a metaphor, but over there I feel closer to being a king than ever. And I feel like I deserve that. All the stuff that I done put in, the work I done put in. Like you said, we done fought for this country, and we ain't free over here. You just say no. that. You ain't free. We're not free, especially in this skin. We're not free. Everything is made for us to fail. But over there, being 88% and 12, and you the majority everywhere you go, doctors, lawyers, you can get tax jabs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is black. And, and, and when I was just sitting in the car, like I got a scene like that on my Facebook, I was just sitting in, in, in the little tourist joint, and I'm just looking at all these black people you know what I'm saying? Walk around. It's black everywhere. Like here, you can go to Chocolate City, go to East Saint, Detroit. You have your little sections of black people. But then you yeah. travel. You know what I'm saying? Then you got, you know, your other race of people there. You know what I mean? It's just broken off into little spaces. But everywhere I went, every town is full of black people. And you see the infrastructure. You know what I mean? The buildings are big, massive. The malls are massive. Like the Mall of Africa, oh my God. Y'all remember I told y'all about that. I got lost. Man, I was stressing out. <laughs> I do that shopping stuff, man. And I kept going, y'all kept saying, uh, that's what I, y'all were sending me to the malls. And I'm like, man, I don't like shopping. But I was, I was, I was showing that for everybody else to see how massive everything is down there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, They tell us it's huts and TPs and all that stuff, like, man, tough. It's sadly mistaken. People got money there. Yeah, true, money. true that. 100%. I was seeing yeah. young kids in Range Rovers and stuff. Like, how how does little dude got a Rover? <laughs> this little dude. Yeah. As hey, as different. we say, welcome to South Africa. As we say, welcome to South Africa. I'm trying yeah, to tell it'll, you. It'll, it'll, you know what? It'll 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 humble you. You know, you, you think you were, you know, doing okay in the stage. You're like, I'm rolling. Look at me. I come over here. And then you, because I remember I had a, I, I, you know, many years ago, you know, I had some nice cars. You know, I like cars. And um, I had I had a nice, I, had a, I forgot what I had. I had probably several. But I always wanted a Porsche. I just wanted a Porsche. And then all my, then I come back. I'm on like my eighth or ninth trip. And my people that were here, they, was, they, they were driving Porsche like it wasn't nothing. And I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. And I went back to the States and I went straight to the Porsche dealership and I bought my Porsche. I'm like, why am I why am I tripping? It was almost like I needed permission. But then when I saw my South African brothers and sisters rolling the way they was rolling, I said, I'm doing the same. So I I bought one. I've had one ever since. This is what it's gonna be. Sorry. And and that's that's the breakup that I'm trying to trying to deal with here. Cause I, I got a jag here. You know what I mean, and and mm-hmm. I man, I love my jag, and that I man, I don't want to part ways with it, but everybody telling me it's gonna cost an arm and a leg to ship it, and y'all was like, man, forget that mug, just come back here and get you one here. You know what I mean? And I yeah. see all them luxury cars 
Like when you're driving, you see all the buildings that got all them luxury cars, all the dealerships that got all them luxury cars. I saw it with my yeah. own eyes. And I'm like, man, they be saying with the pop bellies and the and the flies on their eyeballs. Man, I ain't seen none of that. None yeah. of that. None of that. Man, man, just man, just come to the real South Africa. No matter what they say, no matter what they're gonna say, this is the you, you went to the real South Africa. It's just that simple. Okay. Right. Well, Ronnie, I think that's that's all we have. And I'm sure everybody, I'm sure you saw a lot of the comments. Everybody was just feeling uh, Ronnie. And of course, he does have um he does have uh, a way for you guys to contact him. And so I just put that up on the screen because this this is where he wanted to be found. So if you go to Facebook, put in Ronnie Edward Dunn, and then you will see the bearded one, and then <laughs> this little picture. Then click on him and just say, "Hey, brother, how you doing?" And uh, you know, you know, telling you from South Africa, and uh, I'm sure he, he, you know, he he will he will chat with you. Does that make sense, Ronnie? For sure. It make 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 a lot of sense, man. And then and then uh. You can find me on YouTube at the Great Eight. I'm about to open up my YouTube so y'all can see exclusive footage. What I didn't put on Facebook. Oh, okay. Awesome, okay. awesome, okay. awesome. We know what the eight stands for, so we'll let that be. <laughs> <laughs> with, you, with, with, you, with, you, with you following the done tradition, I know what that eight stands That's for. That's right. I'm hey, I'm a done and I'm a Zulu, baby. <laughs> 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 That's all, right. My seat. all right brother man hey man try to have a good day over there brother thank you we'll Stay talk safe. to you soon oh for sure thank you for giving me another uh whack at this and i'll see y'all in november yes you will yes sir bye <laughs> all right so obviously we had ronnie in the house he was you know he's you know obviously a very uh loquacious um was he? yeah and colorful speaking <laughs> Um, young man uh, from East St. Louis. Um, so we had a question here that I wanted to bring up. Um, it's it's, it's multi-pronged, but we're going to do our best. It says, how realistic is it for single parents to relocate with children? And then another part of the question is, most most are solo or both parents. Um, uh, can you obtain rights to carry a firearm? Well, as far as firearms, I'm not really sure. I haven't really explored that. You're not the third person um, to ask that. Um, I still don't know the answer, but I think this, I think there is a pathway um, if you are here as a as a as a as a resident to um, to purchase a firearm. I'm, you know, it's not like the U.S. where they have like, oh, I have a right to, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, this is this is my Second Amendment right. Is the second? Yeah. Oh, I think it's the Second Amendment. Yeah, it's not my Second Amendment right, uh, and and so forth. So, but yeah. I would I would say that that's that's a possibility, and I think uh, uh, single parents has the uh, you know if you know obviously everything comes with a plan if you plan it properly um, as a single parent then of course you can absolutely relocate. Um, anybody who's ever been with us, um, I always tell them like all the time you need to come here as a tourist first. If you haven't been as a tourist. Um, you're not going to be motivated to do the paperwork or do whatever you need to do because you, you know, you, you have to, you know, immigrate here like an immigrant. So, um, but once you've been here and you're, and you're motivated like Ronnie, then you'll be like, okay, I like it over there. It's worth my time. And so I, I would say, come on a trip first, you know, you can bring your kids or not. And then after that, then you could, um, uh, decide what you want to do from there. Uh, but I would say um, come as a tourist. What would you, is there anything you want to add to that? No, nah, you definitely got to come for a visit first. You need to be able to make sure that you're safe, the kids are safe, the school is right, all those types of things. So yeah. you definitely need to need to, need, need to come on a, on a visit. So I want to thank all of you for taking the time to watch with us tonight. I know it went a little bit long. Uh, we will go through the comments and answer some of them Um when we're done and of course like share and subscribe and as always please make sure to book your trip to south africa with the real south africa what do you have to say i would say book your trip with the real south africa so we could give you the experience that you need 
Um, like I said, we're here. We're here every day. Um, I guarantee you the um, I would I would put us up against Google any day as far as trying to find places to go, things to do, the experiences that you need. Boots on the ground. Yep. So I think we are a little bit more valuable resource. And then at the same time, how can I say it? We we try to, you know, us as black people, especially in the U.S., we never get marketed to. We 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 see marketing. But it's generally not for us. It's usually for them. And then we decide if we want to participate with that or not. And then we feel some kind of way when we do. But this right here is specifically for us um, to be able to travel to South Africa. So we're marketing and we're showing, you know, give, you know, showing you what you need to see so you can go ahead and book that trip to South Africa and then get here and have all the experiences that you need. So that's all I have. And uh Hope everybody has a, a, a good weekend and we will chat with you soon. Thanks for watching.